cat's wactyl phenomenon basin is tall diphasic rs complexes at least 50 mm in height in leads v2 v3 or v4 that is a mid precordial leads the qrs amplitude is high and often overshoots the margin of the ecg graph as seen in lead v4 in this case it may be necessary to take ecg in half standardization that is 5 mm to a millivolt instead of 10 mm to a millivolt to capture the full qrs complex without overlapping with other leads large anterior forces are due to the hypertrophied right ventricle and late posterior forces due to the hypertrophied left ventricle in addition this ecg shows negative qrs complexes in 1 and avl indicating right axis deviation which is a feature of right ventricular hypertrophy the original description by katz and wachtel was published in 1937 the sign has been described in vst with y ventricular hypertrophy in children it can be seen with isolated vsd as well as complex vst in fact the article cited from circulation was on complete transposition of the great vessels cats wactyl phenomenon has been reported in a case of unrepaired tetralogy of fallow with hemitrungus in an adult as well there was anomalous origin of right pulmonary artery from ascending aorta known as right hemitrungus here are a couple of important references including the original publication from cats and wactyl few more references for the topic ecg finding in ventricular septal defect depends on the size of the defect magnitude of left to right shunt and severity of pulmonary hypertension ecg is normal in small ventricular septal defects with small left to right shunts left atrial enlargement may be noted in moderately restrictive vsts and in those with large left to right shunts left axis deviation is common with inlet vsts and av septal defects left axis deviation may also be seen in 5% of moderately restrictive vsts ventricular septal aneurysms and multiple vsts or swiss cheese ventricular septum can be associated with left axis deviation a study of 110 isolated ventricular septal defects evaluated by cardiac catheterization and oximetry has given detailed description of ecg findings in vst notching of the p waves was noted in more than one third of the cases notching and broadening of the p wave in lead 1 or 2 and terminal p inversion in v1 indicated left atrial overload it was associated with tall r or deep q indicating left ventricular volume overload r wave voltage in v6 greater than maximum for the age and voltage of s in v1 greater than maximum for age were considered features of left ventricular overload voltage of r in v1 and s in v6 greater than maximum for age were considered features of right ventricular overload here are the first set of references on ecg findings in vst second set of references are here